Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, floor, boss, uh, all that jazz. This is Gary Butterfield, and with me, as always, is the man who puts the greatest of all time in bloat. And that would <laughs> rhyme if I, didn't do the, if I didn't want to call him a goat. It's Will Hughes. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't get the joke. The uh, would be the goat that puts the goat in bloat. I just thought it was a nice compliment, and then... Well, it still is. Like, it's... You know, it's very... No, it's okay, Gary. It's okay. Did mm. we start... We've, I feel like this one started off with an awkward energy. Yeah, just... Oh. Um, I about to put the man who puts the bomb in mom. Yeah, <laughs> no! Know. Stop like... making me put things in mom. <laughs> well, that's... It's a... Uh, wrong podcast, motherfucker. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> no. your switch. The <laughs> don't break my switch don't break my switch bro uh i'm really happy with the density of inside jokes we've developed in 20 minutes of recording um what, what are we talking about this time gary today we're talking about spoon bender oh my god classic yeah no this is a this is a nice uh old school item reference to uh yuri geller the uh classic uh the the master of spoon bending and also, to a lesser degree, Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah, who uh, was known to bend spoons in her spare time. Gary, it wasn't the it, thing she was most famous for, but... Is it me or is spoon bending the shittiest magic trick? <laughs> it's a... Uh, Can you think of a magic trick they, worse? So I... Uh, this is something that uh, people who listen to feed show, shows know, is I, I, I like stage magician. I, I spend a lot of time watching YouTubes of stage magicians, and I like stage magic a lot. Um, and I've looked at, like, how you bend a spoon... Do and you not just hold it in both hands and then bend? You don't because you're supposed to make it look kind of rubbery like you're doing with one hand, but you still are. You're just so you might think you bend it with two hands. Well, but would it blow your mind if I told you you bend it with one? I mean, that is certainly more magical. <laughs> like it is. It's slightly harder. Um, you, you, you do it in a way that you just kind of bend it with one hand in a way that kind of looks a little bit like it was bending with like, you're not putting effort into it. It's like really a, a muscle disguise. Like, disguising effort mm -hmm. um it's it's extremely dumb and that's why yuri geller is a fraud and a fake and i'm glad he's dead well uh, um, i'm right on the wikipedia page for uh spoon bending right now and <laughs> guy bavel is doing a great job in denmark in 2010 guy looking bavel. very yeah <laughs> he looks very unimpressed by his own bent spoon <laughs> oh, he thought he was gonna do it was gonna turn to something different um this just means uh telekinesis in yeah, the yeah. game and then you eventually get telekinesis and then it's like well well shit um but this gives you homing uh tears which this is another one where it's not quite as good i feel like the homing isn't quite as good as you'd love it to be mm. yeah it's not it's not super strong homing um and that's always a thing like there's degrees of homing which is always weird like when i was young i used to think like oh heat seeking missile oh my god like that can't miss mm -hmm. you know that, that, that well because uh, contra fucked up our heads yes very much so. And then we've been, I've been playing four answer for watching fireballs and like showing that like, Oh, there are degrees of homing. Like very much. So do you remember, uh, this is, this is way like season, like 20 of this This is like four years, but sure. in, uh, in I'll anti birth in, uh, in anti birth, did you ever get the brain worm trinket? I don't think I did. I didn't, I, I did not play as much anti birth as you did. That literally made, if you missed it, made the tier make a 90 degree turn to hit. <laughs> it was great. awesome. <laughs> like it just That's went, um, this doesn't do that. It, they kind of circle around. It's kind of determined by range. They might hit. They might not. It's still a really fun item, though. And again, uh, synergy time. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite synergy? synergy. <laughs> yeah. well, what's your favorite synergy with Spoonbender? Uh, I think I, I, I really like technology with Spoonbender. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That uh, that would be mine as well. Yeah. It's not, you know, obviously Brimstone, it's super, like, game-breakingly, as with most Brimstone synergies. Mm -hmm. But I just like... Let's see. Do you get the little curve around you with that one, or is it? Uh, that's when you have a uh, uh, tiny planet. Okay, yeah. With it. This one still is just like great for just like hitting everything. Well, you don't have to aim. Yeah. You just you just enter a room and hit, and it will just go. Um, Which, given that in Isaac, most of the time, if you're taking damage, it's because you are putting yourself in position to hit something. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing health saver. Oh yeah, like it, it's almost. I mean, it's not unlosable if you have really shitty damage. Oh, sure. You can still kind of, you know, but it, it is uh, such a huge advantage if you can pull those two things off uh, together. And there are, no, there are no real bad synergies with homing tears. Like, I'm never unhappy to have it. 
um you know like even with like ludovico technique which is it doesn't end up being uh very strong with it mm-hmm. you know and can kind of be a, a nuisance because tears will kind of stick to enemies you have to kind of pull them off um but it's still good because then you can kind of take your hand off that for a moment and concentrate on dodging and it will do its own thing yep the only one i don't trust with it are either of the fetus items because i don't like anything i i i get into conversations with my girlfriend who plays a lot of isaac about my distrust mm-hmm. of any item that can blow me up mm. mm-hmm. uh so anything that makes the bombs less predictable is unwelcome. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I think that it is definitely a thing with um, uh, uh, Epic Fetus because the cursor will move around. With Dr. Fetus, it tends to just stick to an enemy. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. But um, yeah, and this ends up being kind of a fun thing because yeah, I like how you can get that with a uh, Bobby Bomb as well. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty fun. Um, this is a good item. I, I think that we probably can both agree that this is not a rerollable. Uh, nope, I, I do not re-roll this one. I take it. Obviously, unless you have like something that uh, duplicates the effect, um, which we'll talk about those. Um, do you have a seed for us? Or has that uh, that bit worn out? It's welcome. And keep in mind for people listening to this, it's been at least 24 hours. Since yeah, enough time to really refresh their feelings. Uh, I don't, <laughs> Gary, when I listen to, let's say, Monster in My Podcast, I do listen to like those in like 10-episode chunks. Uh, yeah. So I could be... Someone out there is very bored of the bit I'm about to do. <laughs> the, uh, no, I still think that uh, it's it's worthwhile. Right. Um, hit us up with one of these uh, computer-only seeds in an ASMR voice, and I will not add the crinkle this time. Uh, instead, I'm going to slowly fold a piece of paper. Uh, you won't be able to hear it, but Ooh. trust me, it's an asmr thing. Yeah. G. E. B. Y. Four. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn it, don't laugh. V I Why? That's definitely a one. Oh, <laughs> Carrie no, this is for a different Bring the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> then wow. I get swim bender. Yeah. Three seeds in and I fucked it up. I do that a lot. I confuse eyes it's and a... eyes and ones. Yeah. It's uh well that's why you sent me an email saying you wanted to do a podcast on the binding of onesic. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? That's just like the new hot game, Gary. That's like that, that's prob- game. probably Sh- true. Should I repeat the scene? No, I, mean, I think that uh, I think if anyone's in doing it in, I, I think the references for for seeds where you can get a fairly common item uh, are pretty pretty numerous. I think people, if they can figure it out, yeah, these aren't coming from my personal database of seeds. No, no, I have. Ever, I used, ever... used to. You have any good ones in there? Like what would nah, you say? Um, I would say just like really, really crazy powerful things to show. Like when you get to the chest and you just, you know, you press the button and the entire, st- you know, screen explodes in beautiful colors. Like yeah. those kind of things. Like those, those runs are very holy uh, and special. So, yeah. Uh, to, so, so everyone listening, may you have more runs like that. Um, unless like, you know, 5.2 damage by the time you get to the, the fucking womb. Mm. Bullshit. Yep. No good. Bad gas. Um, <laughs> if, if you're listening to this Man. and you like it, what can they do, Will? Oh, uh, they can rate and review Patreon Duckstream. <laughs> did I do it? <laughs> Daddy Gary, did I do it? Un- unscramble them, my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, hey, uh, take y- the same letters in a different <laughs> order and create new meaning. Uh, you can rate and review us on iTunes uh, mm-hmm. and the show, like all the Duckstream, Duckfeed, Duck. Mm-hmm. What's the network called, Gary? Huh? Uh, Cuckfeed, all according right. to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. All the Cuckfeed uh, shows you can support at patreon.com slash Duckfeed. Yeah, it's weird. We couldn't get the Cuckfeed. Uh, uh, but no, but they put it. out very good content and on a regular basis. The, they, they, they really do. And, and they invite you to watch um and then later the, uh, they pop up on gary's phone yeah it's true unbidden um, it's 1000 percent true um thank you everybody for listening and uh, we'll see you uh tomorrow for or i think tomorrow yes tomorrow uh for a very special surprise first of the the trinket sundays trinket sundays gary do you want to say your famous sign off uh good night good night <laughs> <laughs> Good, uh, the old catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good night. I just um, like answering it with childish enthusiasm.